Hey guys, Ashley here. So I had surgery on my ACL about seven months ago and since then I have done lots of physical therapy, lots of progressive exercises to get me where I am today. And um, I have fortunately not had any setbacks. And well, this past week I had my first setback and um, I have an ego, so I don't want to say it's because I did the events um, in, what is it, Temecula, the SoCal Spartan races. Um, and it happened in yoga. So uh, what happened was is uh, I did the beast. I trained, you know, and I had my mileage up. You know, I've done a lot of hikes. I wasn't expecting to run the whole thing. And went out there, did the beast with Patrick. Um, a little bit slower pace than a race pace. Uh, but it was still, it was it was tough. But uh, nothing to where I felt uncomfortable. Like I shouldn't be doing this. Felt good the whole time. Uh, did all the obstacles. Missed my spear. Did some burpees. And just had a good time. Was out there with my clients and just had fun. And then I didn't stretch. So... Afterwards, we stretched a little bit. We didn't stretch that night. We had people um, in our hotel. We just kind of like slipped, got sidetracked, didn't do what I knew I needed to do. It didn't ice, didn't do the things I should have. Took ibuprofen, that's about it. And so Sunday comes along and I was like, hey, you know, maybe I should do the sprint. I feel good, but then I was going back and forth. And I made the decision, do the sprint. R ran a little bit harder. I went with the elite women and I knew it wasn't gonna be racing, but I knew that that, Intensity was going to be a little bit higher than when I was doing the beast and it was great It was an awesome awesome race and I was super happy with um, How I did and I, I was safe. I slowed down during the downhills those rocky downhills that were just ridiculous and um, I was super happy with with how it how it went but again didn't stretch and do the stuff I should have done right after the event and um, not only that I was in the car for a long time and I rate um, you know I iced when I got home after and uh, you know I, I noticed swelling I knew it was gonna be swelling a little bit that was a lot of mileage and um, I just was not looking forward to how I was gonna be feeling the next day the next day I was sore everywhere which was awesome normally I would recover super fast after um, a weekend like that and I had to remind myself I have not done something like this not only a beast but a beast and a sprint the next day um, in in months and so um, actually this year so this whole year I haven't done anything like that and so going into doing something like that I knew I was gonna be really sore and uh, of course I was and my knee was a little bit swollen um, but you know I figured let me ride it out um, stretch it out um, take cycle and do some yoga and that's the, the classes I teach so cycle uh, was awesome it had that good blood flow got the circulation and just pushed some of that gunk out and then I went into yoga and in yoga yoga was great when in um, a pose half moon um, and brought my foot down and I felt a little little tweak and was not too excited about that I instantly broke out in a sweat thought oh shit uh, this is not normal and so I felt like my leg needed to lock out and I just automatically thought something happened and I, I called my doctor the next day got in on Wednesday he said it's fine uh, there's swelling a little bit of swelling still and uh, you know I was able to do everything but it was locking out and it felt like it was unstable and it's just uncomfortable. So, uh, long story short, my knee's fine. It's some swelling, some tightness. I'm gonna have Matt from High work on it. Um, he says it's probably a little bit of a tight quad. My muscles are overactive. I have a lot of atrophy still in my quad, and then going out and doing an event like that, shit's gonna happen. So, um, this whole past week has been a setback, and um, you know it was it was more of a mental setback because I got so nervous that something bad happened. And the doctor said you would know, uh, you would definitely know if you had torn it or if something really bad happened. You would know instantly, and it wouldn't be like random pain here and there. It'd be a nonstop pain. And so, uh, yeah. So out of all the things he told me not to do, he said you should probably lay off yoga. So I told him that I ran a lot, I was on my feet a lot, and I did a lot of mileage on Saturday and Sunday, and um, I tweaked it in yoga, and he said that maybe you should lay off yoga a little bit. And so uh, I, I, of course, I'm not gonna go out there and do a beast in a sprint again, uh, but I'm definitely gonna do the right things if I do an event again, making sure that I'm icing and stretching and, and really warming up and, and doing the right things that I've told all my clients to do. Um, and you know, it just slips your mind. You're in the, in the heat of the moment and you just kind of just slips your mind. So, uh, lesson learned 
and um, I am so grateful that it was nothing serious and I am so much better um, and you know it was a more of a, a setback mentally because I I had to scratch so many things off my to-do list from last week and my training and I was like can't do that can't do that can't do that and um, you know I, I took the week and I, I recovered and did minimal activity I did some stuff did a bike ride and and stuff like that but uh, you know in the in the end I realized that I need to slow down and um, you know, I knew that from the beginning and, you know, I thought I was taking it pretty slow, but maybe not slow enough and um, easing back into things and, you know, that was kind of kind of like a leap, not necessarily a jump, but I was like leaping um, into things and, uh, you know, I should have listened to my gut on Sunday and not done the sprint, um, but you can't take those back now and all I, all I can do now is move forward and learn from the experience and so if anyone, if anyone that has ACL um, injuries or you've had surgery and you feel that same pain, let me know and, and let me know how, if it went away. Right now I don't have too much of it and I'm going to get worked on and I could do everything, but um, I just want to make sure you know that it's not going to be a constant nagging pain. So um, pretty sure it's not. And so this weekend is Tahoe and so we're going to go out to Tahoe. I'm signed up to do a few events, actually the Beast and the Sprint. So probably not doing that, uh, but I'll be out there supporting my clients doing the Ultra Beast and uh, all of you guys that are out there racing and uh, enjoy your taper week. I'll be working out this week because I'm not probably going to do an event. So um, enjoy, enjoy it and I hope to see all of you guys on the course kicking ass and yeah, the first setback um, hopefully there's not another but I knew there there was gonna be one eventually and I'm glad it wasn't as serious as other setbacks could have been so um, on a positive note I'm happy I'm healthy my legs are working and it could have been a lot worse so uh, use a setback as an obstacle to overcome and I have stepped over that obstacle and now I'm overcoming so adapt and overcome people and my schedule has changed my training has changed and now I'm moving on to other goals so uh, see you out in Tahoe, and um, yeah, have fun.